Good morning, guys. This morning we are going to discuss about an educational topic, educational subject. What Indian education needs. Whatever the government and the other educators and educationists have been talking about and suggesting and advising is all useless. They are missing the point. Their eyes are not set on the core problems of our education. They're talking about system, and they're talking about timing, and they're talking about uh, curricular, and they're talking about uh, subject, and they're talking about um, uh, 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 teaching methodology, and they're talking about uh, this, and that is all humbug. Problem does not lie in system, or in the classes, or among the students but it lies among teachers. They are so nitwit, so illiterate, that they don't even know the Gujarati adage, adage in our vernacular language. If they knew the Gujarati adage, Gujarati proverb, then they would not have been beating the bush. They are beating the bush around. They are looking for the hen when the hand is in their hands. Gujarati Adeje says, Kuwa mahoi, ma maave. Kuwa means teachers. Avela means classes. Now they don't actually look at the quality of teachers. They're looking around everything like they say in our Gujarati language, Kachwa balak, gamma dhantero. Mother is asking everyone, where is my kid, where is my kid, where is my kid? Someone says, your kid is right there on your hip. You are carrying the, your child. <clears throat> they have been hiring teachers by nepotism, by corruption. Teacher going price right now is about 10 lakh rupees if you want a high school job. 5 lakh rupees if you want primary job. And if you have a nepotism, means you know someone in education department principal or educational department officers, then you don't have to pay anything. Believe me, I was a principal. And that was the reason that I quit my principal's job. That in our Sunday morning, there was an interview, an interview we had the best of the best candidate. Nighttime selection committee was held at Nanjibai Desai's home. No, sorry, Nanjibai Vekaria's home and they handed over me the list of totally different people, telling me this I look on a call in the Bola video. I look at the list that I found, at my surprise, all the people were totally different that I have chosen. I asked them, they said, Eto badu dindakhatu. You bastards, you. You are really bastardized bastards. That was dindak. So many, I mean, a couple of hundred aspirant graduates were there, and you are saying it was Dindak. So I said, who are they? So said, well, they are our own family members. She is Kanjani Saheb's son, and uh, I mean, daughter, and he is Kanjani, he is uh, Nanjibai's uh, relatives and all that. Kanjani Saheb was there. I, he was my friend. I said, Kanjani Saheb, that your son, what is his qualification? So he is a 10 failed. Ten failed. Mental case. So mental that within three months he ran away from Junagad and still nobody knows where he is. And he, Nanji Bhai wanted him to be the teacher in best English school with 1150 students. Now that was in 1976. Since then it has not subsided. It has not been moving in a southerly direction, but it is moving in the northerly direction. Things are rotten today, absolutely stinkingly rotten. Today every single thing is so, so terrible that you cannot even think. So now, I have actually prepared four points of my own, taking clues from my 25 years of being tutor over here in GA Institute. I have taught more than 12,000 students. So I can say 
without any kind of hesitation. It would not be overstatement to say that I know something about teachers, and I know something about students, I know something about parents, I know something about how to fix education. But you know what is my fault? My fault is that I don't pussyfoot to anyone. I don't succumb to anyone, I don't stoop to anyone, I don't curry favor to anyone, I don't flirt with anyone. That is why my suggestions are not taken seriously, but some shumba, nishumba, chanda and the kum on the end, these kind of people are going to make some kind of suggestion. It will be accepted. This nation has become the nation of Shumba Nishumba, Chanda and Kunda. Shumba Nishumba, Chanda and Kunda. These are the kind of people prevail everywhere, prevail everywhere in India. So four, four points are there. Point number one is four Ds. <clears throat> there must be discipline, dedication, diligence, and devotion on the part of the teacher as well as students. There must be absolute dis discipline in the class, which is absolutely missing. Absolute devotion is absolutely missing. Absolute diligence is absolutely missing. Teachers are also lazy. <coughs> Teachers are also indisciplined. Teachers go over there for their salary. Teachers go over there to have a little fun. Students go over there for single mingle. Just one thing. Tiki and hee-haw and shingle mingle and the pick up the date and these kind of things. I have also given lectures in Noble for a long time and I know I resigned three times. Two times resigned and the third time I walked out of Noble without telling anyone without resigning. I wanted to know them that I'm resentful now. I'm not going to ask your permission that I want to leave, but I am leaving. Because no discipline whatsoever, not only no discipline, but they were acting like vagaries. Like we can think like it's, a, it's a, like Afghani, so Afghani students, Afghani Talibans. They can come anytime and leave anytime. They can sit anywhere. They can, two students, guys, two guys would sit on the left and the right of the girl, when the seat are there, are two seats. Two seats, three guys are sitting over there and making the girl sit in the middle. I confronted them, I was screaming and shouting, I did every single thing and broke it. Now this is, nowadays it's called, we call it temple of knowledge. My foot, temple of knowledge, it is a temple of Shit. Nothing but temple of shit. Number three, four Ps. Parents, pedagogues, pupils, participation. If four Ps are not there, education is absolutely positively impossible. It's an unsurmountable bottleneck. It's an unsurmountable issue. Nobody but nobody can surmount it. Parents should be participated, pedagogues should be participated, pupils should be participated. All three entities must sit down together and talk about their performance. Like I have this system. Parents of the student will come four months, say for example a student has joined for four months. In four months parents, parents will come probably two to three times to get the inventory of the student's learning. So if parents are involved, pedagogues are involved with the students, pupils with the students are involved in education, if they, if they participate in the educational activities, which is a secret educational activity, then definitely education can become takshilan and nalandan education all over again. Quality of education <coughs> is not like accumulating billions of dollars. Quality education means uh, teachers should come prepared. Teachers should come with discipline and make their student discipline and make their student learn. And you have taxila education. 
There is no big difference between Takshila education and the today's lousy education in India. Only the difference was those teachers were educated, those teachers were prepared, those teachers were excited, those teachers were enthused. Most of all, those teachers were motivated, disciplined, diligent, and dedicated. <coughs> If the, today's contemporary teachers have become like those teachers of the days of yore, of Takshila and Nalanda, we can have Takshila and Nalanda in every corner of the city. But we admire about it, we give reward and accolade and award to Takshila and Nalanda, but we don't want to make it like Takshila and Nalanda today. Every leader would come on the stage and raising hands, raising his cheek, and Chin, he will say, we had Hamare Desh Me Taksila, Nalanda Thi Ham Education Me, Siksha Me Sab Te Aage Te, 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 Te is not important, He is important. Aaj Ham Kya Hain? Aaj Ham Choru Teachers and Choru Students Hain. Aaj Hamare Vaasi Sikshan Nahi Hain. Aaj Hamare Student Dam Damar and Damesh Hain. Talk about hey, don't talk about te. Point number four, <clears throat> sorry, point number three, charismatic and cutting edge qualities of teachers. If teachers are qualified with, quality, with state of the art qualities, charismatic personality, charismatic knowledge, charismatic erudition, students are going to become like that. I challenge every listener, you come to G Institute, sit over there in my class, and I find out what kind of education my students are getting. They don't get education about Aryonu Agman and Sindhu Nadi and this and that and all that. Whatever happened in America yesterday, they're going to learn today. That kind of education is going to uplift your students, uplift the education from the Malays, and from the Nadir. <clears throat> yes, about 4,000 years ago, our education was at the peri apogee. 4,000 years ago, we were the lead in education. <clears throat> education began in India. India is the crib and the cradle of education. India is the womb of education. But today, womb has actually turned into tomb. It is a tomb of education. It was on the apogee 4,000 years ago. Today it is on the perigee. <coughs> it was on the Nova 4,000 years ago. Today it is on the Nadir. We should be ashamed of ourselves. What is there to be proud of? How can we smile? With so much corruption, so much ignorance, so much disease. We don't have oxygen for God's sake. Thousands upon thousands victim of COVID died because there was no oxygen. We are so big nation, biggest in the world. In time, in culture, in Sanskrit, uh, all our Sanskriti and all that. And we could not make even a lousy vaccine. We copied the vaccine, our Indian vaccine we have. That is copy. It is copied from the Western vaccines. What is there to, prou to be proud of? Garbage dumpsters are everywhere. Sanitation is absolutely non-existent. Children are begging on the street. Women are actually working as a maid everywhere and doing all kinds of shameful things to fill the pit of their stomach. We have lari walas and we have rickshaw walas and we have all kinds of panthala and all that. What kind of big businesses we have? A couple of businesses you have, you don't know that. That's also owned by the foreign nations. Reliance is owned 72% by foreigner, foreign investors, FIIs. Tata is owned by FIIs, it means the foreign institutional investors of 75%. If they are going to withdraw their money, this name will be wiped out everywhere. Everywhere the name will be erased. Point number four. And the edutainment. Our own Rabindranath Thakur, that you probably call Rabindranath Tagore because every single thing you want is given to you by the West, including the name of Rabindranath Thakur. You call Rabindranath Tagore. 
because our mama law and the papa law, European American have given this name. How can we refuse it and how we can reject it? They destroyed, they devastated, and they distort the names of such a such a poet. I mean, unique poet, absolutely unparalleled type of poet who got the Nobel Prize in power poetry in literature, and we actually distort his name. Do you think he would be happy if someone destroys someone distort your name? Say, for example, instead of Mehta, he called it Nata. How would you like it? If someone, instead of Patel, someone called you Patal. You are ruining, you are destroying, and you are actually hurting the soul of Ravindranath Thakur. So Ravindranath Thakur has said the education must be entertaining. Education should be entertaining doesn't mean the teacher should dance in the class. That is our another problem, that we don't understand anything in a proper context. Entertaining education means uh, education should have quality, education should have knowledge, erudition, new information, new things, new data, and it should be all mesmerizing, tantalizing education. That is what Ravindran Thakur has said in court and court. court, and court. The students should go <coughs> where curiosity is satisfied. We shouldn't go to the school to satisfy their curiosity. And they stay there where they find edutainment. If you don't find edutainment, if the education is boring, humdrum, redundant, absolutely monotonous, they don't stay. So that's all the time here. Thank you very much for listening. God bless everyone on this planet. Amen.